Welcome to the 2021 Brown Prize. For the next 30 minutes, we hope you enjoy this year's all-digital award ceremony. Since 1968, hundreds of technology and design enthusiasts have competed for the Brown Prize with incredibly innovative ideas. And today, it's time to choose the 10 winners for this year. Your host is Ben Wilson, and we welcome you all to a little different Brown Prize 2021. Different? Yes, I think that's close to being the greatest understatement of 2021. Welcome to Kronberg, Germany, the Brown Prize 2021. I have the pleasure to be your moderator for today. My name is Benjamin Wilson, and I'm standing here in front of the Brown headquarters here in Kronberg. And today we've got a chance to show you behind the scenes a little bit, some of the judging process happening today, as well as give you some insights into what's happened this year, what's been very different, what's uh, been discussed a lot, what are some of the challenges of the judging process being in this digitized ceremony we're, we're going through right now. So please come with me, we're gonna have a look at what's going on behind the scenes. We're going to look into some of the jury members, the judging process, what's been different for this year, as well as which of the winners, the most important part of the day. The ceremony tends to be happening here in this uh, lovely big hall here, the Crystal Building we call it. And the Crystal Building this year, it's a little bit more quiet. I'm sure some of you do remember what this place is normally like. In 2018, the ceremony took place at the Brown headquarters in Kronberg, Germany, with its large and international audience. In this year's 21st edition of the Brown Prize, we will once again reward great concepts and projects from promising design students and young professionals all around the globe. great memories in this incredible building. This building in itself embodies the Brown principles of making things that are simple, useful and built to last. It's over 20 years old and it feels like it's been designed yesterday. This way of doing things, this Brown Haltung, or a process as they call it in English I suppose, is, is also seen in the objects of, of Brown, both of the historical objects and the objects we create today. Together with the Brothers Brown, Fritz Eichler created a vision for a better way, a different way, a way of doing things, an approach to design, an approach to creating types of objects that lead to better products. Back to today. Today is really all there is in the end. This Brown Prize, as I mentioned before, has been very, very different. Different doesn't actually mean bad or worse. It's been interesting. And we're going to go down into the heart of the Kronberg site and try and find if we can get five minutes with Oliver Grabus, the chairman of the Brown Prize uh, 2021, and ask him a few questions, what his thoughts are on this great Brown Prize have been. And yeah, let's go and check it out. So I did manage to actually grab Oliver Gravis this morning and a couple of the design members and agency partners who are working on the Brown Prize 2021. And it's a chance to sort of connect briefly on what's been happening, what's going on right now, and also some of the differences of this Brown Prize this year. The pandemic obviously had an impact in terms of like what people were um, talking about or you know considering, and then also in terms of projects, project themes. So that clearly uh, played a role, um, but so many exciting new topics as well where I thought, uh, wow, I haven't even thought about this. As we did the pre-sorting, uh, we looked at the, the designs when we didn't know where they're from and that's also interesting. That's so it was cool. anonymous and it felt very international, yes, but we didn't know where from. It was very interesting and I'm very excited to see some of the designs, where they're actually from and who's behind these designs. We've seen so many different projects and concepts and I think our idea of making the Brown Prize more democratic by not having first, second and third winner anymore, but just having 10 equal winners that can then also show the huge variety of different 
design projects that exist from very simple everyday solutions for very simple things to really, really big medical design projects or more um, sustainability um, projects and things like that. It, it's worked pretty great, I think. We start normally with the perspective of what is there and how can we make it better. And, and what I found so refreshing um, is, of course, with student work, they don't have that situation. There isn't anything. There isn't anything to protect. There isn't anything to lose. There isn't anything that you need to build on. They basically, I mean, have very few things and that allows them to think differently because there is no, nothing to uh, respect or to consider to keep. And, and that is why I do believe, you know, the Brown Prize with focusing on young talents that have that different perspective um, really can break through uh, in terms of innovation that is different. Because again, you know, it's a different perspective. There's nothing to lose. You only focus on the things that you, at that moment, think is really needed in the future, not what to bring as baggage with you. And that's, I think, you know, super refreshing. And, and I found really cool, because probably I wouldn't be able to do this just because of my, my point of view. The Brown Prize has always been, even since 1968, about finding young designers who have ideas for good design that lead to a better future, shaping tomorrow. But how do you judge that? You need to change perspective. Like me walking backwards through this hallway, you need humans who can take themselves out of their own skin and judge it from their own perspective. Our international jury is incredible this year. Let's check it out. The jury for this year's Brown Prize consists of Professor Oliver Grabus, Head of Design at Brown and Chairman of the Brown Prize. Virgil Abloh, Chief Creative Director and Founder of Off-White and Men's Artistic. Director at Louis Vuitton. Gary Hustwit, Filmmaker and Visual Artist based in New York. Sukwoo Lee, industrial designer and founder of SWNA. Cecile Manz, designer and founder of Cecile Manz Studio. Li Ning Ning, director of industrial design Xiaomi Ecosystem. Stefan Schamberg, vice president R&D, grooming brown and devices, Germany. And Joanna Shoemaker, former Brown Prize winner and owner of sustainable jewellery brand Quite Quiet. As you can see, we've got an incredible array of specialists and experts from different backgrounds in the jury this year. The jury process has been one of, uh, let's say, delegation, lots of videos, lots of chats, lots of messages, so a very unique judging process this year. The results themselves, the entries have been incredible. So let's go and have a look behind the scenes at the actual judging process and see if we can capture some statements from the, uh, the leaders themselves. Over 1,150 entries from 80 countries were submitted to the Brown Prize this year. 77% of the entries came from students, while 23% were submitted in the Young Creatives section. It wasn't an easy task for the jury to select the most promising and innovative projects from a wide-ranging and diverse spectrum of categories. First, good morning, uh, especially Gary. I think for you it's really early in the morning, so we appreciate um, that you know, you're joining at this kind of unhuman time. Uh, 
but I love all the simplicity of it and the, you know the sustainability. But we may never forget you know, that you shouldn't make any compromises on the core function. Did that design? It looked like it was conceptualized from top to bottom, from 10, 30 years in the past to 30 years in the future. Put it on fingers, you need tongs, you know. The mm -hmm. best place is to uh, actually place it behind the ear. Yeah. What a heated discussion. A heated discussion about those incredible designs. You get to see more of those after. But right now we're going down to the heart of the Brown Design Department to check out the trophies that are being made. Because in the end, this is all about a trophy and $10,000. Let's go check it out. Hi, Judo. Hello. All good? Wunderbar. Hast du die anderen Modelle schon angefangen auf der Maschine? Ja, die Maschine gehen kein Problem. Das wäre geil. Cool. Besides the Brown Prize Award itself, the 10 winners will receive a cash prize of $10,000 each to help nurture their talent and support the development of groundbreaking concepts. There we have it. The awards are ready, the ceremony's a few hours away. I'm gonna go and look after my body and mind in the health center at Brown and Kronberg and get ready for the amazing ceremony we've prepared for all those great winners. In the tradition of the Brown philosophy of taking good care of your body and soul, our host, Ben, is now getting ready in the healthcare center for the big winner's reveal. Let's take a look. And now I'd like to hand over to Oliver Grabus, the chairman of the Brown Prize, to say a few words about the general process, some of the winners, because that big winning moment, the announcement is actually next. Welcome. My name is Oliver Grabus. I'm the chairman of the Brown Prize Design Competition. I would like to thank you all for joining our first ever digital award ceremony. Today we celebrate the 21st Brown Prize and its winners, and this in the year where Brown is having its 100 year anniversary. I'm truly humbled to be standing here today announcing this year's winners, knowing that the pandemic and the last 18 months have been a real struggle for many students and creatives. The first Brown Prize was announced in 1968, awarding exceptional design work coming from students. We take pride in supporting this next generation of creatives to become influential designers and inventors. I would like to express my thanks and joy for the incredible response to this year's competition. With so many excellent concepts, you made it very difficult for the jury to decide. In this year's Brown Prize, we move away from ranking the winners to simply award the 10 most interesting and compelling product concepts worldwide. I hope the award money will help the winners to follow their passion and to use their talent to excel and make a difference. Enough words from me. Here's the moment we've all been waiting for, the 2021 Brown Prize winners. And the winners of the 2021 edition of the Brown Prize are... Lid Free. An origami takeaway cup without requiring a plastic lid. By young creatives Pei Jun Shue and Jia Jun Zhong from Taiwan. Literary is one of my favorite projects at the first glance. Its origami structure is stackable and easy to fold, basically fit into most of the to-go scenarios. And it's also very clever that with the structure flexibility, you can even insert a straw through the middle hole on the lid, which creates a second way of drinking. 
I aware that it might not be a perfect design solution yet, but still I appreciate its simplicity, elegance, and clever of the outcome. I think the designer picked a minor issue of plastic lid waste, but I do believe that minor matters make big difference in the long term. Monkey bots. Small IoT robots turn digital events physical. By young creatives Georg Kluck and Mohamed Moradi, Germany. The jury really liked how MonkeyBots is bringing the physical and the virtual world uh, together in our everyday lives. Uh, very emotional, uh, funny, and you know sometimes very serious. Um, these simple movements of physical things around you can connect you with others or can you remind you of something. And uh, depending on, on how you program this, it really can bring you know, the virtual in your life um, to life differently, not just on your smartphone or on your computers or TV. So I find it's a, it's a brilliant idea. It's a playful concept. It created a, a lot of laughs um, in the jury. We, you know, I think it's a, it's a tool for your creativity and uh, with endless possibilities. Auto, the mobile aid to orientation for blind people. By student Lucas Hartz from Germany. The jury said that auto is a vital tool to help people living with sight loss. This concept sets out to improve conventional mobility aids with a new product that is discreet, flexible to use and ensures free and safe movement. The project was well researched with a nice design that mixes both manual and digital functions. Water Republic A multifunctional water point for public spaces by student Jadwiga Slezak from Germany. This year, entrants were challenged to shape the future. I think this concept head-on approached the idea of shaping the future in terms of water distribution in urban centers. Um, I could see the, the sort of findings from from this project extending to rural areas or to more urbanized areas all over the globe. Something like water is a vital concern and distinctly this project shapes the future around how water is consumed. RUEI01 Robotic Unmanufacturing Embedded Information by student Maxwell Ashford from the United Kingdom. This project has uh, the future of the future and the future of 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 the 어, 재활용할 수 있게 만든다든지 하는 스토리들이 어, 굉장히 인상적이었고 특히 프레젠테이션 하는 방법이라든지 그 사진이나 어, 여러 가지 그 리서치에 대한 결과물들이 굉장히 무수했고요 어, 특히 어, 실제로 움직일 수 있는 그런 워킹 프로타입을 제시한 것 자체가 굉장히 인상적이었습니다 DTS-01 Drilling Targeting Systems by student Mehmet Mehmet Aliolu from Turkey. DTS is a drilling system specifically addressing a challenge in the airplane industry, making invisible things visible. Likely a very specialized issue, but why not? Design is about carrying the detail and this team did so. They studied work processes at Airbus and invented a smart tool that can dramatically ease the production process of wings. Is it only more convenient? No, if executed right, it will make the product safer 
And this is again a very fundamental need in this industry. By the way, great prototyping, fantastic craftsmanship. Carbon Card. Visualize your carbon footprint. By student Mansi Agawal from India. Carbon Card created a heated discussion in the jury. While we all really like the idea and the strong message that comes with the concept, we debated when and if ever this concept can become reality. Now, if you see the big picture, companies will have to become transparent about their products and the manufacturing. Uh, this is the only way how we can track and then reduce emissions. And Carbon Card in this is a symbol of awareness, right? It is design creating visibility um, for your own personal footprint uh, on this planet. I, I find that very powerful. Papilio, a wind-powered streetlight. By student Tobias Trubenacher from Germany. Papilio cleverly addresses two major problems we are facing with current street lighting solutions. Light pollution, which has negative impacts on people's health and the ecosystem, and a surprisingly high amount of carbon emissions. What sparked my interest in Papilio is the movement. I really love the folded approach of the wind turbines because it reminds me of simple paper windmills. Their beautiful movement elegantly balances the rather technical design and enhances the appearance beyond its main purpose to locally generate power. CAN The self-directed CPR learning experience by student Shuai Li from China. Cain, the self-directed CPR, is one of the good examples of utilizing new technologies and practical hardware to improve the tedious existing processes. Here, to be more specific, is the renewal process of CPR certification. The combination of cardboard as a very common materials and sensor gadgets as technology aids make the solution very straightforward and feasible. I think it will encourage more public to take the CPR course, get more opportunities to practice, and hopefully will possibly save more cardio patients in critical time. WeScope, the low-cost digital microscope for sub-Saharan African universities, by a student team of Natalie Wochner, Germany, Joop van Steen, Julia de Jong, Patrick Busser, Renzo Fonk, Netherlands, and Tian Yuan, China. So I like the WeScope project because it was designed for users in sub-Saharan Africa, but the designers also got the input and participation of stakeholders in Africa to help determine the real need and to also determine the feasibility of building the product there. And I think that kind of collaboration and participation with the user, even on the student design project level, is really critical to helping design and shape tomorrow. And this year's special mentions are... Sova, measuring soft vital signs and mental health, by a student team of Mehmet Mehmetaliolu, Turkey, Alexander Fries, Fabian Bircher from Germany, and Mikkel Gusen from Estonia. Spectrum, active noise cancelling headphones for people with ASD by student Monica Bairappa from India. And there we have it, the Brown Prize 2021 winners are locked and loaded and ready to go. What we actually did, we called them as a surprise call and here are some of their reactions you can see. Hopefully you'll enjoy it just as much as we did. 
Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes. Hello. Hello. Hey, Monica. Hi, Benjamin. It's great to see you. Hello. Hi, Maxwell. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm glad you guys uh, found the time to do this session. Good afternoon, Benjamin. How are you? And uh, where are you calling from? I'm actually doing this call from university. <laughs> I'm in uh, Lausanne, in Switzerland. I'm from Chennai, India. And we are in Taiwan. Aisha. And you've actually won. <laughs> no way. Very good. Wait. <laughs> You're one of the 10 winners. What? <laughs> That's amazing. I was actually made in the top 10. There was a massive back and forth. This is great. You have just literally won the crown prize. Uh, <laughs> Incredible. Wow. $10,000. <000 US> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> we didn't do an award. Oh my god. The crown prize 2021. <laughs> really? There he is. He's wow. on. Thank you, so <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my god. That's really crazy. <laughs> Incredible. Oh my god. Wow. This is amazing. <laughs> I'm super glad to hear this. Thank you so much. Oh, Jesus. I'm just going to fight that. I feel that it's an expect Wow. Perfect. I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh, that's... Thanks. Oh. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Don't have to ask anybody else. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. All the best. <laughs> to everyone who supported this year's Brown Prize competition, we couldn't have done it without you. Here is to a brighter future and good design. Thank you and see you in 2024. Time to take a breath. The 2021 Brown Prize has come to a close. It's time to say a huge thank you to all the over 1300 entries we had. Congratulations again to the top 10 who took out the prize this year. And of course to the judges and the jury, their intensive back and forth, both digitally by themselves and together with the rest of the crew in the jury sessions here in Kronberg. And I'd like to do a big shout out to everyone in the background. You know who you are who made the Brown Prize this year possible. It wasn't an easy year to do the Brown Prize. We managed to get it all together. And I think it's time to have a bit of a drink and, and have a bit of a, a, a celebration moment. And once again, let's say thank you again for taking part and look forward to seeing you all in 2024. Thank you very much. Bye. And now we invite you to join this year's after party moment here at the Brown Museum in Kronberg, Germany. We are very proud to present to you a special musical blend mixed by DJ Ruben Schwartz, entirely out of Brown design objects. Let's party and celebrate the winners. And don't miss out on a chance to win one of 10 Brown Design watches. Go to instagram.com slash brown prize and vote for your favorite project. We hope to see you again in 2024. Take care and look after yourself. support of the Brown Prize actually in turn makes the Brown Prize possible. Finally, we can be Benjamin here because <laughs> I follow you on Instagram. <laughs> I think it's really quite a privilege to be here with all of you and especially Mr. Benjamin. You're more than welcome to come to Kronberg at any time. Please let us know. If I'm not there, we'll get Oliver to meet you. To finally see the faces behind all the concepts. It's very special, um, yeah. We are really honored to, uh, to be part of this and uh, 
maybe if you remember our call, we were very surprised. We, we didn't even know what to say. So uh. I really appreciate um, this uh, move from Brown uh, to create opportunity for people. I think we can have an uh, impact on how the world uh, will be in the future. The Brown Prize is really special because it kind of encourages and rewards like us young designers to think about like the social impact of our work. To get this nice meeting with everybody here virtually. There's so much more to come, not only for me, but for all of you here. Thank you. <laughs> thank, you thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.